Some Little Rock city leaders drawing a line tonight as they weigh a proposal to formally say they have no confidence in police chief Keith Humphrey. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Laura Monteverdi. That resolution was first proposed at last night's board of directors meeting by director Lance Hines. Our Susan L. Corey caught up with Hines today. And Susan, this is an unprecedented move. It is, and that's something Director Hines acknowledged when he talked to me. His bottom line is enough is enough. He's seen several red flags with the police chief, and he says Mayor Frank Scott Jr. hasn't addressed those concerns, so now he wants the board to take action. Hines mentioned several areas ranging from decisions Chief Humphrey made at the department to the fact that he's being sued by multiple employees for retaliation. Just last week, we saw a judge rule Chief Humphrey broke the law by not giving employees their own personnel files. This vote would be more of a symbolic move since Hines says ultimately it's up to the mayor to hire and fire the police chief. He could resign tomorrow. I think that would make all these issues go away. Uh, I don't think he is because I think the mayor's told him he supports him. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what the mayor's calculus is as far as uh, why he's not pivoting. I, I think some of it he's afraid he's going to get sued. But we're going to continue to see lawsuits from employees based on the behavior of our police chief. It is worth noting this isn't the first time Director Hines has called for the chief's termination. Earlier this year, he told me during an interview there needed to be a change in leadership. I did reach out to the police chief for comment, but haven't heard back. A spokesperson for the mayor sent me a statement saying Mayor Scott does not discuss personnel matters in public. It'll be a while before we know which way the board goes on this. It's set to vote in about a month on December 15th. Back to you.